What's up, YouTube? Corolla XRS first gen. This is an 05. I'm going to talk about a few things I've done to this car since owning it for a week. Um, I just installed a shift, short shift rod along with solid base bushings, along with uh, solid cable bushings. So I'm going to talk about my impressions on those. Uh, obviously, this is not an install video. There's two or three of those online that are pretty decent. They do kind of skip over a lot of parts, which I'll talk about, um, but I'm not going to show you how to do it. But it's super easy. I've done seven or eight of these, so it should be easy by now. But this car is extremely easy to work on. Um, one thing I love about this car, it's so simple. I mean, these big obtuse dials, um, you know, taking all this apart and putting it back together was an hour start to finish. That's including all the everything, the bait, the bushings, the cable bushings, which I'll show you in a minute. It was maybe a 20 minute job. Um, now mine is not rusted. So if you got rust, you're, you're going to be cussing, but very easy car to work on. I mean, for example, to get this entire climate control bezel out, all you do is pull this and then undo that screwdriver, that, uh, Phillips screw, and then you just pop it out and it's really easy. So, um, this is a really easy car so far to work on. I would not want to have to work on that engine, but the little stuff I'm doing so far, it's been really easy. Short shifter, great mod. Uh, in short, every Corolla needs the short shifter and base pushings. It will not only lower the shifter uh, the, where the um, ball is. And if you ask, I've heard this is a Scion, uh, Scion uh, shifter. I don't know if that's true. It came with the car. I thought it was a TRD one, but I like it in any case. It, so it lowers the, uh, it drops the, the, sh the shift ball significantly, one or two inches. And then it also significantly, probably 30 or 40 percent, uh, shortens the throws. It's a little more effort, obviously, like you'd get with any short shifter. Um, going into reverse is, you know, you kind of got to get some momentum. It was already not the easiest thing to do. But all that is is inconsequential. It's a great mod. Um, it, it Some folks, I noticed they complain about how short it was and how much it dropped the uh, shift knob. For me, it's not a problem because I'm long and lanky. For me, my elbow rests perfectly on this rock hard uh armrest which i'm gonna have to do something about and then my i just it falls right here on the knob so it's very easy um, but if you have shorter arms it may be you know it may feel like you're reaching a little bit um for the for the shift knob but for me it's perfect really took out i mean there's still a little play but it significantly just cleaned it up this car is a kind of a strange clutch accelerator pedal shifter engagement anyway it's not bad it's just strange um coming from so many different manual transmission cars it's it's just not the easiest to get. I've stalled the car four or five times um, myself. I'm coming. I'm making a video. So, um, but I've kind of gotten the hang of it now. But the sh shortening the shifter really does help with that. And that could just be me, but I don't think it is because I've driven, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of cars that have manual trainings. Um, so shortening this just takes some of the awkwardness out of trying to figure out the, the clutch take ups a little weird. Even I, I got a buddy who he's one of these guys that can do anything. You know, he drives trucks, trailers, and he even stalled it. So um, I, I don't think it's not true that it's just a little bit of a strange setup. It's a good setup. It's just different from like a Honda or my Fiesta that I'm used to or even my truck. So I think shortening this, it just takes some of the awkwardness out of that combo and makes it a little easier. Um, effort, again, is a little increased, which you're going to get with solid bushings and a shorter throw because you're changing the angle of the shift cable. So it's going to you know, be harder, which is why they made it so long and lanky in the first place. But overall, great mod. I will say um, no one really spoke to this, the boot. There's a firm piece that I had to bore out to get the uh, Monkey Wrench Racing um, shifter rod in. It wouldn't fit. It was It's a bigger diameter than the stock one. So I had to bore that out to get this on, um, but I was able to. And it's, I think it's important you do that because... Before, I didn't have it on, and when I grabbed the shifter, my fingers just went down into this nothingness, and it just didn't feel right. So once you get this, there's a solid piece uh, in here that um, kind of makes it look right, and there used to be a ring here that um, kind of holds it on, but you don't need that anymore with this setup. So overall, you know, just play with it. I had to drill that thing out a little bit and just bore it out so I could fit it on the new, uh, the new guy, but other than that, um, pre pretty simple. Um, and like I said, the short shifter, I think is every curl should have it. It's just great. 
Um, the cable bushings, they're going to add a little bit of notchiness um, even more because when you land in gear, there's going to be less play because there's not that soft cushion. So that's a, that's a maybe. For me, it's a non-negotiable because I like the feeling. But for you, you might do the shifter first and then do the bushings later, the cable bushings. And I'll show you what they look like. Um, actually, I was noticing some frogs over here. We have these tree frogs in Georgia. There they are. Y'all need to get together and make some babies or something instead of being all lonely up there. There's all kinds of stuff here. This is where a locust chewed through my screen before I obliterated him. He like literally ate my screen. He was like three or four inches long, massive locust. And we got these everywhere right now. Mosquito hawk, crane fly things. There's one. In any case, I'll show you those bushings. So normal stock bushings, they mush. And that's what you want from the factory. They, um, they're, they're built that way. This is a base bushing. So when you shift, it hits the gear and it has something to soften the impact. Here's the cable bushing, a little bit different, but same idea. It's got the softness here. So you put a firm bushing in there and it just, it, it, it eliminates that. So before when you hit it, put it in gear and it had somewhere to kind of land and bounce, now it doesn't. So if you like that, great. If you don't, probably don't want to do these cable bushings and I'm not going to be able to see them, but, um, they're way down there. There's a couple guys that did this install on, on YouTube and they actually went in from the top. I don't, like, I could reach it from coming in this side, but I highly recommend just put your car on ramps or a lift if you have it is great. And I was able to do this job in, like I said, 15 or 20 minutes just going underneath. I was just on my back with the car on ramps and I was right about in this area and I was able to reach out with my left arm and kind of, you know, kind of like reach up and grab everything and it was all right there so you just pull the cotter pin you pull the washer off you pop pop the bushing out and then clean it all up real nice and then you know reverse new bushing in put the uh lever mechanism over that uh put your lock it's got like a lock ring that comes on and then your cotter pin and you're done so i would recommend going from underneath it's i don't see how these people are getting in there and doing everything trying to reach your hand in here unless you take all this stuff apart but i just don't see that that's worth it so you want to do that from underneath this is also something i just did just to be cool i thought that was cool because lift is the big idea here so I, I put a red decal i made a little red vinyl decal on the l so vvt because normal corollas have vvt variable valve timing it's no big deal but this has lift so that's that's the specialness of the xrs so i put that on there no one will notice except me but it's kind of cool another thing i just had done all the, by the way also is i had this tinted um professionally i scraped the old tint off it was pretty awful and uh had it had it pretended so 20 percent looks good i also did this to um put these on little very subtle tints um and it's just uh kind of gives a instead of that white clear look i'm still drying this one gotta get the sun on that but instead of the white just put those discs on it does not interfere with reverse or uh visibility but it just gives a little subtle tinted look uh, and kind of matches the black tint. So, um, yeah, and I just actually put a K N filter in also uh, just a second ago before I started shooting this. So, yeah, that's in the car. Uh, I've got these headlights in the mail today, too. I'm going to silicone these. If you ever have aftermarket headlights, you always want to use clear silicone to seal, like, the whole thing, let it dry, and then, like, seal the whole thing again. Um, they're notorious for leaking. So they're, they're pretty light. I like them. They're show you this one it's the black instead of the factory so it's gonna look real nice match some of those black themes and that factory one it uh it's kind of shot someone had done a restoration on it before and they didn't do a very good job i tried to clean it but you can always tell it's a bad restoration because you can see the marks where they applied the new clear coat right there i don't know if the camera's picking that up but so whoever did this didn't do a great job, and um, I was going to redo it myself, and I was like, you know, I like those black ones. They look good. But I think I'm just jabbering at this point. Um, yeah, so this is a review of the uh, shift mods I did and just sharing a couple other updates to the car. Next video, I'll do some POV driving, probably show you what lift looks like. Um, I think I covered everything over here. Yeah, here's the old shift, shift rod and hardware, so gone and uh yeah you know and i'll say this i said this before there's just i've put about 150 200 miles on this car so far and uh, it's just bulletproof um 
It's just, there's nothing like a Toyota. If you're looking for a daily driver and you can find one of these in good shape, I would say it's worth the money. They're, you can get them beat for four to 5,000, even 55. Um, so, you know, you're gonna pay a little more for that. Six, seven, I've seen them for eight or nine. I really say it's worth it if you want a car that can do everything. It's Toyota, Toyota reliability. Everything is simple. You can hold five people comfortably, four comfortably, five in a pinch. It's getting 30 something miles per gallon and it's got all kinds of power it does not need. So it's fun. You get the power, you get the, the stick shift. It kind of does everything. So um, yeah, nothing like a Toyota. So next video should be some POV driving. Oh, one other thing I did to this car is I repaired this. These are notorious for this hinge braking because it's a Corolla. So I mean the hinge, it's just like things are pretty cheap. It's kind of nice because it's easy to work on but this was just a sorry plastic hinge and they pop out so there's a kit you can buy i saw on ebay it was like 35 bucks but um rather than do all that i found another dude um he had an indian accent so he's probably in india but he just uh developed this idea where you basically just put a piece of wire you just drill a hole right there and you put a piece of wire and the wire just cinches the hinge back you can find it just search for dash repair called corolla and so i tried that it took me five minutes um and uh, I think I already mentioned this, but I mean, this whole thing comes out in like 30 seconds, just one screw and pop it out. And so that thing was out in seconds and then just drill a hole, put a piece of like baler wire around there, twist it real good, watch his video. And this thing is perfect now. So Corolla XRS, more to come. Again, next video should be some sort of POV. I'll show lift and all that and uh, have a good time. Thanks for watching. Leave me your comments if you got them. Pick one of these up if you can. This is a special car. And uh, enjoy your day. Peace. God bless you.